You can order the rear bumper cover used in the video on carparts.com via the link in the description. Turn your engine off and set the parking brake. Pull on the trunk release handle and open the trunk. Using a fork, lift the protective cover of the first rear bumper cover retaining bolt. Using a multi-bit screwdriver and a 10 mm socket, unscrew the bumper cover retaining bolt. Do the same on the other side. Next, in the wheel arches, use the same tools. Unscrew the two rear bumper cover retaining screws on the bumper cover retainers. Under the vehicle on the passenger side, unscrew the two screws holding the bumper cover to the exhaust thermal protection using a multi-bit screwdriver, a 10 mm socket, and then a Phillips head bit. Next, using a fork, remove the rivet holding the rear valance. Then unscrew the three screws holding the rear valance using a multi-bit screwdriver and a 10 mm socket. Remove the last rivet holding the valance. Unscrew the last screw holding the rear bumper cover on the driver's side. You can now unclip the rear bumper cover from the bumper retainers. The rear bumper cover is now free. You can remove it, preferably with help from a second person. You now need to disengage the valance from the rear bumper cover. Using a fork, remove the two rivets holding the rear valance. Remove the valance from the rear bumper cover by pulling it out of its slots and unclipping the two retaining tabs. Hey, it's Alex from carparts.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to support us, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, back to work. You can order the rear bumper cover used in the video on carparts.com via the link in the description. Put the valance back in place, then reattach it into the rear bumper cover. Put the two rivets back in place. Your new rear bumper cover is now ready to be installed. Put the rear bumper cover back in place by its central part at first. Then reattach each side to the bumper cover retainers. You can purchase the parts we used here by visiting our website at carparts.com. Screw the retaining bolts back on at the trunk. Then put the protective covers back in place. Screw the two rear bumper cover retaining screws back onto the bumper cover retainers. Under the vehicle, screw the retaining screws back on and put the rivets back in place. Operation complete.